Phillips Curve history. In 1958, A.W. Phillips plotted the dots showing the relationship between unemployment and the rate of change of money wages in the United Kingdom and drew a non-linear regression line, a line that is non-linear in the parameters, through the dots. Thus, we have what is known as the Phillips curve. Economists have taken Phillips' work, and instead of comparing unemployment with the rate of change of money wage rates, now relate the Phillips curve to the trade-off between unemployment and inflation. Let's look at the short-run trade-off between unemployment and inflation from the Roaring Twenties to 2009. So we're going to go ahead and plot inflation and unemployment on this graph. In the slides you'll see you will not always see an inverse relationship between unemployment and inflation. However, you will see that generally there is a short-run trade-off between unemployment and inflation and thus the short-run Phillips curve. So let's go ahead and plot the dots for the 1920s. We are then going to show you the trend line. Notice there is an inverse relationship between inflation and unemployment. As unemployment goes down, then inflation goes up. Let's look at the 30s. Let's go ahead and put a trend line in. Notice there's a trade-off between unemployment and inflation. There's a trade-off here in the 40s between unemployment and inflation. You can see the trend line here in the 50s. And then in the 60s. And in the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, and then the new millennium. Notice during each of these decades, there was a propensity or a tendency that when unemployment decreased, inflation increased, and vice versa. So to make a long story short, the short-run Phillips curve shows an inverse relationship between unemployment and inflation.